Hi guys, Martin here coming to you with my build update number one for the Tamiya Vought F4U 1A Corsair. So what have I done? Well, I um, primed all the parts within the fuselage with black um, XF1, flat black Tamiya. And then on top of that I um, used a number 4736 interior green. Um, made by Model Master um, for the cockpit area and then I did a misting of uh, 4851 Model Master yellow zinc chromate over everywhere but the um, cockpit area just to give it some um, some shades I uh, then painted the instrument panel and the seat assembled the seat to the rear um, bulkhead, assembled the instrument panel, the joystick, the foot pedals to the front bulkhead, painted the wheels, I assembled the central wing section, I assembled the two end wing sections and I assembled all the flaps for the wings as six sets of flaps. Um, I assembled the engine, I painted the engine and then s assembled it within the cowling. So I've made a bit of progress. Oh, and I assembled the bomb. I'm going to use a bomb, not a drop tank. So let me show you. So this is the starboard fuselage off. Um, sprayed black, then I used the interior green and then I did a misting of yellow in the areas except for the cockpit give it some shade in there, just pulled a bit of detailing out on those switch panels so that's the starboard side here's the port side, same again that got black coat in, base coat and then it got a um, interior green and then there's yellow zinc chromate everywhere else in the rear wheel well and just pulled out a little throttle um, assembly there with some detailing um, central wing section I assembled the upper halves to the lower half and then there's also the air intakes which I fitted in there as well so that's the central wing section I'd airbrushed black on the inside followed by the interior green and a slight misting of the yellow zinc chromate for the wheel wells I will be doing a uh, clear coat on all of this and doing a bit of a wash um, so that's that I then assembled the wing halves the end wings that one goes there, that's the underside and then we have the the other wing assembler with the ribs in there and that'll go there and then I assembled all the flaps there's two halves of those I have some painting to do, the ends will be the interior green so I've got flaps as well um, and there's three sets of flap to each side so that'll be assembled there so that would be quick to assemble those. Um, I'm thinking of probably doing the um, starboard side wing in the folded position and the port side in the lower position because the port side has the star and bar on it. So I want to be able to see that. And with that side folded up, 
you'll see the star and bar on the underside which is on the opposite wing so you'll see both star, stars and bars and you'll be able to see one wing folded, one wing down because I want to be able to see some of the weathering I'm going to be applying to the upper wing surfaces so that's the wing assemblies let me move those out of the way and all the flaps um, I base coated the two guys, the standing figure and the sitting figure they're going to get some paint on them there's the bomb I assembled and we have the bomb on the middle, not a drop tank there's the engine assembler it's all fitted inside the engine cowling and there's the uh, propeller I can just push in there and uh, I've not painted the propeller because what I propose to do is uh, to get the chipping effect I'm going to airbrush silver when I've primed everything I'm going to airbrush silver on on the airframe surfaces and then I'm going to clear coat that then I'm going to do a yellow zinc chromate 4851 I'll thin it right down and I'll do a misting of that give it a nice yellow thin yellow coat because these planes had a yellow undercoat before the top coats come on and then I'll clear coat that then I'll put my uh, camouflage, camouflage colours on and then I'm going to chip down in some areas down to the yellow only and then down some areas to the silver so it shows that some areas got a bit more wear and tear than others and that's the intention of our plan to um, paint it these are some more of the rib sections that go inside the wing um, when I come to assemble this uh, that will go inside the end of the wing with these bars They're, these horizontal bars are if you have the wing down the end wings down and then you, we have the angled bars that are painted here that's if you're going to have the wing folded up you use those um, so they're all painted ready to go and as you can see I've painted my front wheel um, assembly struts that's another part that goes on it there the uh, rear wheel well doors are painted interior green and uh, the front wheel axles are painted they're ready and the rear wheels painted as well everything's going to get coated and washed as well so I'm saving the best till last um, I'm going to show you the rear half of the cockpit assembler this is the um, seat assembler seat with the I use the decal straps and uh, switch consoles on either side of the pilot um, there's a fire extinguisher beside his seat goes under there and there's also under here is a, a lever assembler that fits in there you have to glue in there so that's the seat there'll be um, some still images after this so you can have a look at everything close up with some still images and is the front half of the cockpit assembler the instrument panel the joystick the foot pedals that's where I'm at with that I hope that's showing you'll see it in the still images if it's not so that's where I'm at with the uh, cockpit assembler I dropped some uh, gloss clear coat in the dials try and make them look like glass and this one just glues on those blocks that are sticking out so that'll be like that Oops. that'll look like that when it's assembled and then we'll drop her in there like that
and that will be my next job after this video. When I've made the build update video and released it, I'll clear coat what I've done, do a bit of wash, and then I'll assemble the cockpit together, put it in the fuselage, assemble the um, engine assembly on the front, and I'll ass then assemble the fuselage to the wing assembler. So that's it guys, that's where I'm at. So thanks for watching, I hope you're enjoying it so far and I hope you follow me with this build. I don't know whether I showed you the wheels. Did I show you the wheels? If not, there they are. They're the front wheels. They're painted, ready to go. So, um, a lot of things are already painted, ready to go. Alright, thanks guys, thanks for watching. Ten minutes are up and uh, stick around because you're going to see some still images. Talio chalks away. Thank <laughs> you.